Woohoo! Alright. So, just stay in the yard, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we're rolling. Been with Night Transportation for 27 years, August of 2022 coming up. I've driven dry van for 24 years of that 27, for two and a half years. I worked in a project and now a program called Top Gun. But my passion is driving ever since I was a little kid. After I retired out of the Air Force, I went ahead and became a truck driver for night transportation. I've only driven here, and if they weren't a good company, I still wouldn't be here. I decided to come to the reefer division because I wanted a new adventure. The difference between the dry van and the refrigerated division is I could have two or three trailers a day with the dry van. Refrigerated division, I'm finding that I'm keeping the same trailer anywhere from four to 10 days. I'm running on one load for three days and I'm able to maximize my miles each and every day. You could drive anywhere from 630 to 650 miles a day, uh, actually quite easily. In dry van, you can stay regional. It's usually about 1,500 miles. And then we have the refrigerated, which is more the entire nation. You can go anywhere and everywhere across every, almost every state. My goal at some point is to hit all 48 states. I'm trying to get night to expand into Hawaii and Alaska, but I haven't been able to do that too well. I told them to go to Hawaii to do the first load. There's a lot of us that like that over the road. We like to get out there and see new country. One thing about the refrigerated division I didn't realize, a lot of these warehouses and refrigerated places that we go to are in the back country. I've seen some parts of Tennessee that just blew my mind. The country I was seeing, all I spent my time saying was wow. <laughs> Pretty much a main word in my vocabulary is wow, I can't believe the sights that I'm seeing. I had the opportunity to drive by my childhood town or my granddad's property outside of Aberdeen, Washington uh, in the big rig. And I'm sorry, I get emotional sometimes and the hair on the back of my neck, tears are up in my eyes and I was driving by a place that I spent all my summers. No, I never had a desire to go to another company. I have loyalty. Being in the military created a lot of loyalty within my makeup and I didn't let the little things cause me to jump ship anymore. I came here to be 80% happy, and some people will go 80% happy, but what is 100% in life? Well, I can honestly say that I've been in the, in the mid-90s almost the whole time I've been here. Yeah, sometimes that smaller percentage that is the negative feels like the 95%, but it's always short-lived and always got fixed, and I was always able to move on. So I, I definitely have had success here.